10 Insane Ways to Hide Secrets in Super Mario Odyssey. As we go through each level, the secret will be somewhere on screen. Try to figure out where that secret is before I reveal it, and at the end, put your score out of 10 in the comments. Mario hears a legend about special shine moons that were hidden throughout the world. He appears in the Sand Kingdom to start the hunt for secrets. He immediately encounters an army of Goombas reinforced with urban sting beasts. Mario also comes across some laser disc launchers that aren't usually there. He explores while dodging bullet bills and makes it up to this mound before he stops to think. He has a feeling that he missed something. Did you catch it? Luckily, Mario has the hiccups and as we all know, plumbers can use hiccups to rewind time. After going back to the beginning of the area, he looks a little bit more closely for clues. This time, he looks at the surrounding environment for anything that seems different or out of place. The skull sign here has red eyes for some reason, so Detective Mario investigates. When he gets close, he starts to hover next to the sign. He dives face first into the sand through a portal in the ground that leads to a bonus area. Mario eats the delicious coins and gathers the first legendary shine moon. Collecting the ancient relic transports Mario to a new area. He uses gushions to shoot water and fly across long gaps. Bullet Bill launchers have merged into pillars to add extra challenge and Mario tries to avoid the bills while working to make it to the end. After almost falling into the poison, Mario makes it to the other end, empty-handed. Where could that secret be? With perfect timing, Mario hiccups again and rewinds back to the start of the level. This time, he has an idea to explore with the gushion. He uses the frames that are attached to the pillars as a temporary landing spot, so he can use the gushion and get more height from spraying water. After getting up high enough, he uncovers a mysterious attic to the zone with rewards. He devours the coin donuts and grabs the secret shine. Mario is transported to New Donk City next. This isn't the normal version of the city. Something must have triggered lava to rise quickly in the Metro Kingdom. Mario needs to run and get to the highest point before the lava burns him to a crisp, while hopefully finding a secret in the process. Mario gets to a very small platform right where the lava stops, but he did not uncover that secret. Mario hiccups and gives himself another chance. As he's running, he pays close attention to the surrounding buildings this time. If he's quick enough, he can get to this area before the lava gets too high, and he can see a moon warp pipe on the side of the building. Mario goes through just in time and appears in a treasure stage where he gobbles a whole stack of goodness and collects the artifact. In a new zone, Mario immediately notices lava geysers moving up and down. He sees a giant question block that can't be activated, and many poison piranha plants on platforms. There's even a fire bro way up high that tries to snipe Mario with fireballs. Mario makes his way across, noticing that there are less platforms to stand on than usual. He makes it to the other side without his prize, so he hiccups himself back to the start. Let's see if you can spot what he needs to do. This time, Mario uses the question block to get some more height and makes his way up to the fire bro. He becomes one with the bro and burns the piranha plants. Mario carefully jumps across the rising and falling platforms with the bro, but one mistake and he'll lose his chance for good. Once he makes it to the end, he lights one torch with his fire, and then when he lights the second one, a platform in the distance appears out of thin air. Mario ditches the capture and jumps across to collect the elusive shine. Mario warps to see a familiar challenge ahead. He throws Cappy on the hat rack and runs on the flower pathway while dodging Bonsai Bills. This time though, Bonsai Bill launchers are now on the backs of pillars and they even shoot Bonsais from the poison floor below. Rock Smash Circles threaten to push Mario off the path, making his job even harder. After much determination, Mario makes it to the end of the trail and reflects on what he missed. <laughs> Starting over, Mario sets out to be more thorough this time. As he's moving across the pathway, he notices something down below. In the poison, a hidden pipe is overlapped with the Bonsai Bill launcher. He drops down and sneaks into the pipe to appear in a bonus treasure room. He gorges himself on that sweet, sweet gold and then collects the ancient shine. Looking around, Mario finds himself in the Cascade Kingdom next. Flying dry bones that follow Mario and trapedals patrol the area. He flies through the waterfall and takes a look around, scouring the area for clues. Detective Mario comes up short in his search and takes a pause before activating his special hiccup power. <laughs> This time, he has an idea to use the enemies to help him. He loans his friend Cappy to the bomb bug and angles himself to have the blocks nearby explode one at a time. 
After four explosions, he uncovers a planter for a growing beanstalk. He searches some more and finds a seed in a tucked away platform. Mario throws that seed into the planter and rides the growing beanstalk up high into the sky. He finds a mysterious floating island, stops to smell the coin flowers, and secures the next legendary shine. The world around Mario shifts to reveal his next location, the Luncheon Kingdom. Mario sees that everything looks normal except the gushions that feel a bit out of place. He tries to explore with those gushions, but can't find anything new. After searching on foot for a bit, he still can't think of where the secret could be. He takes a rest until... Mario starts again, but ignores the gushions completely. He pilots a lava bubble and swims around through the sludge. When he arrives at this spot, he notices a hole in the lava and drops down on an unsuspecting magneto below. These tomato enemies create pools of lava for Mario to swim through and jump across to the next ground area. Mario leaves the capture and grabs the shine relic. Mario continues his quest in a foggy subworld. There are spinies on the pathways and typhoos making things harder for him. Mario focuses on his timing to avoid being blown into the abyss below. He quickly makes it to the end of the area and knows that he missed something big. Mario goes through again with a more careful eye. He sees a glimmer of gold underneath the first typhoon he encounters. He takes a chance and drops into the fog. By jumping often, he disperses the fog enough to see the pathway forward paved with scrumptious coin rings. Mario drops down to a secret platform under the fog to claim his dinner and his shine artifact. The earth trembles and Mario materializes in a poison wave map. He goes through a platforming challenge but sees giant pillars that smash down from the sky. Colossal poison waves try to destroy Mario if he doesn't jump at the right time or if he waits too long on the sinking platforms. Tropical Wigglers safeguard platforms making jumps more difficult as Mario navigates through the stage. He gets to the end with no reward. What did he miss? <laughs> Mario gets more creative this time. When nearing the end of the area, he notices something hiding inside the ground blocks. He uses the sinking pillar to get low enough between the waves coming through to jump under the blocking wall. Mario quickly jumps up onto the next platforms to avoid the poison waves and finds a hidden platform with a juicy shine. With a slight chill, Mario opens up his eyes to reveal a frozen zone. He uses speed flowers to run on top of the frigid water while he explores. Rock Smash circles try to knock him down and push blocks obscure his path forward. He runs up to the top of a snowy hill to look around and try to realize where he went wrong. <laughs> Mario starts again and grabs those speed flowers. As he runs, he sees weird things floating in the sky. He follows a trail of speed flowers and floating penguins and gets further and further from the original path. Mario's running on invisible platforms that are headed right for a wall. He takes the chance and goes right through that wall to find delectable coins and the shine reward. The next area puts Mario up against the Piranha Hydra. To see Mario face off against enemies that become bosses, click on the video on screen right now. Please subscribe so Nintendo will hire me. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching. <laughs>